Greetings everyone, my name is Aerie Steele and welcome to Stories Untold. This is an interactive story game that reminded me heavily of the old MS-DOS games of yesteryear where you had to convey your actions via the keyboard and type everything out that you wanted to do to interact with the environment. So for instance, if you wanted to look at a clock, you type out look at clock and hit enter. If you wanted to move in a specific direction, you type move or walk north, south, east or west. Hit enter and it would do so and the screen would change and you would just continue on in that fashion. And there was an abundance of those back in my early days of PC gaming. I was born in 86 and grew up in the 90s. And I remember one distinctively where I had to play as a tornado hunter. And I'll spare you guys the details, but god damn, that game still brings back a lot of memories thinking back on it. And it was crazy. I never got to beat it. There were a lot of things I couldn't figure out on how to continue after a specific point. And I just kept failing over and over again. And it was just getting frustrating for me. I was like, God, I can't remember. I think it was like 7, 8 at the time. Maybe a little older, possibly 10. Uh, it was so long ago. Anyway, enough with the trip down memory lane. We're going to start with episode 1, titled The House Abandoned, and see why these stories are considered to be untold. Well, they definitely drew some inspiration from Stranger Things. Oh, the old tube TVs. I remember them well. Oh, God, I don't remember having dial-up in the 80s. Jesus, that is a sound I do not miss. God, if you grew up with AOL dial-up, trust me, we were in a battle... All on our own with that thing. Jesus. Uh, how do I make it stop? Come on. This is torment. This is not bringing back fuzzy memories. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, thank you for the implementation of broadband. Let me just say that right now. God. I, I, AOL dial-up was fine for what it was. Back in the day, you know, you wanted to go on, you wanted to play Neopets, you know, I spent most of my time on the Nickelodeon website just looking up a bunch of artwork, but god damn, do I not miss that startup sound at all. Alright, what do we got here? I wasn't under the impression that I had to deal with narration, but that's cool. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Now, this is what I was talking about when I said type out your actions. So let's try open glove box. Enter. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Uh, read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Press enter to continue. And I think it's just going to repeat itself. All right. So, since it's repeating, let's try get out of car. You open the car door and step out. Now... Let me just make it perfectly clear for people that have never played games like this. You have to be meticulous with what it is you want to do. Like, for, when I just typed out get out of car, it's not get out of car or open car door or something. Like, it's, you have to be very specific with what you say or else the commands do not get registered at all. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Let's try look around. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. See? You gotta be very specific. Um, I guess go to yard? Go to yard? You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Um, 
I did nothing else with the yard? Look at yard? Look at yard. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Uh, use generator. Cause I died! It said there was a generator that we had to use. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Alright, uh, go back. You walk back around to the front of the house. Uh, let's try using the key that we got from the glove box. Oh, I can't wet. There we go. Okay. Uh, use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Go inside. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It is dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of the stairs going up. Uh, let's try to go upstairs, because I think that's where my room would be. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. I bet it would be. I miss the 80s and the 90s. They were good times. At least, you know, when I was growing up. I don't know how it was for anyone else. Uh, go to my sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. I bet it would be. Uh, look around. Maybe there's something specific about the room. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. Uh, wardrobe. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photos. Got me achievement. Photos of another time. They're all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Okay, uh, go back. You step back onto the landing. I gotta let this just wait and do what it is doing. Cool. All said and done. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Unwrap. Ooh, unwrap gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a future 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Um, let's see. What would be the proper action to do here? Set up computer? I'll press enter to continue. My bad. Right, your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a future 128K plus 2 computer and a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up. Okay, now let's try set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. Uh, play game? You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Computers use cassettes? Oh shit, what happened? God damn it, you kicked me off the modem! Does that say get out? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, and it starts over. Wow. You can't stand to be near this place. But it's different. Ooh. 
open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Okay, let's see if the note's different. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out. Oh, wow. Get out the car. Get out. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, that's such a unique twist. All right, get out of car. We did that before. Oh, oh. Out of car. There we go. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Holy shit, this got dark really quickly. Um, What was it? What did I do before? Go to yard, I think, was the thing. Or look at yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Okay, I guess you use generator again? Ooh. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, this is trippy. Oh, this is so trippy. Okay, go back. You go back to the front of the house. Okay, house looks abandoned. Yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. Okay, there is no love here. And that was use key. I need to try to retrace my steps here. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh, no. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Oh no! Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. Oh, stale, stale air and dampness. Okay. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Oh no. Um. Shit. What was it that I had to do after getting inside? It was you switch, right? Yeah. It didn't acknowledge the switch, though, but I know that was the next step. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The light flickers on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There's... Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Oh, the clock says stop. Uh, stop alarm? Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Oh no. Let's try the kitchen. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look at writing. Jesus. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall, and I just got an achievement that said the same thing, 1986. That was the year I was born in. Okay, go back, I guess. You step back to the hallway, your shoes are wet. You are still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house, they should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent. Stairs leading up. No feels disgusting in your hand. Let's go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister sister's room. Your ro Oh, Jesus. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can be. Answer phone? You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts, and you taste iron. 
voices spin out of the phone fills in into the room whoever is in there should not be there you need to hang up the phone I do whoever you consider the worst hang up relief same but different the landing has access to your sister sister's room your room and the bathroom pictures are all over the wall but something is different about them oh man okay um what the hell should look around I guess the landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall, all misaligned. Um. I don't know what to do. Are there locks on the door? Can I potentially lock them from the outside? Let's try use lock. Maybe there's locks on the door. I don't know, this is a complete shot in the dark. I don't know why this came to mind. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. What code? What is it talking about? 1986, perhaps? The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall and something is different about them. Oh my god. Open door? That I just unlocked? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you open the bedroom door. Go into my room. You enter your bedroom. The... Oh, the noises in the background are so creepy. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Oh my god, this is some fucking breaking bullshit. <laughs> Read the note. Oh, I spelled note wrong. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can be with you now. Press enter to continue. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This is the end now. Press enter, I guess? What do I do? End? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault? I don't believe you. Like you mean it. Please. It was all my fault. It was all my fault. Say it. I am saying it. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Finally. Whoa. Whoa, that was it? Achievement unlocked. Finally. Oh my god, that was trippy. I thought we were just gonna read, like, an actual scary story that we had to control the actions of the person in the game, but the fact that the game became real... Oh, I like that. I love how games do that. Oh, that was so cool! That sent shivers down my spine. That was insane. I gotta say, though, the whole use the lock point though like that was a complete shot in the dark because I just kind of thought outside the box and I was like wait I don't know where I am well I'm at my room but I was like let's see if there's a lock on the door and use it even though it didn't point out that there was a lock at all at any point in time during the playthrough I was just like what the hell do I do I don't understand and then the code being 1986 and I mean I remember that being written on the door downstairs in the kitchen but that was weird. I kind of seem to have gone through that swimmingly. And I'm kind of confused at the same time. 
I don't know. That was weird. But still, that was really cool. And like I said, this game, you have to be very meticulous on how you type in your actions or else certain things aren't going to work. But oh my god, that was... That was crazy. That was so crazy. So good. I loved it. As soon as everything went dark, I went, wait a minute. What is going on here? Having to put in the game... Saying, just typing in play game and then it actually controls everything that's happening for you on screen. Every action that you're trying to implement in the game within the game is now happening to you outside of the game. Oh man, that that's good writing. I love shit like that. That is cool. I can't wait to jump into the rest of this and see how these are all going to play out. The Lab Conduct is next. Episode 2. That's going to be interesting. That's a lot of 80s lab equipment. I don't know what the hell that's going to be about. All right. That's going to do it for me. That's the end of episode one. I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then thrust your butt upon that like button. Keep playing it awesome, and I'll see you all on my next adventure.